What's up everyone? This is your sexy moth king Bart Koppen speaking. First of all I would like to apologize for not uploading a lot recently. Uh, to be honest I'm running a little bit out of content. Uh, one of the reasons that, that this is happening is because I'm saving a lot of footage for later. Um, in October I'm going to release some very big projects on this YouTube channel including documentaries and more. I've worked really hard on them and uh, I've neglected the short-term content in favor of the good long-term projects. Anyway, today I'm back with a special rearing. Uh, this caterpillar is almost fully grown and it's one of the smaller silk moths of uh, North America. It's the Anisota virgiensis. Um, one of the many oak worms as they are called since they are very small uh, caterpillars that eat oaks often in very large amounts. So giving them the terrestrialistic name oak worms but uh, these guys are generally very very easy to breed if you have the proper food plant very small too that's convenient they don't eat a lot here you can see some oak leaf and the anisotas are just stripping it away can you see it they're very cute they have like these two horns on the side of their head uh, I haven't bred much anisota species on this channel before because uh, I never brought them much attention. Uh, they are a relative of the rosy maple moth. In fact, um, Triocampa rubicunda used to be uh, Anisota rubicunda in the past. Uh, some can even still hybridize. So uh, if you've ever bred a rosy maple moth, you'll know that the rearing of these guys can be quite similar. That's all I wanted to show you for today. I know it's not much, it's not spectacular, but it's a nice silk moth. Thanks for watching.